Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is 1868 water from France in a nice glass bottle. Next up is World Market Natural Spring Water in a thick plastic bottle. So what these two have in common is I got these from the same store. These are from the store Cost Plus World Market. Um, right now I am in Park City, Utah on vacation with my family. And I'm kind of in a hurry to do these videos because we have activities planned for the whole week and I'm just rushing to um, finish these videos so I, don't have, so I don't have as many waters to take home on my luggage. Um, so I don't have any notes, I just have some information like memorized about these bottles. Uh, this is from France, this is from the source, and the reason it's called 1868 water is because that's when like they started making it. They started. I guess they started drinking it or making it. I don't really know, but it says since 1868, and it's in a nice bottle. It's got you know custom emblem on the glass, like embedded into the glass. It's not just a generic bottle. It's a good quality bottle. The thing I'm concerned about this bottle is it says the sodium has 15 milligrams of sodium, and it says the TDS is 230. TDS, total dissolved solids, <clears throat> but it's a nice bottle, and this was a dollar and seventy nine cents. It was on sale. Normally, it's over two dollars. This is from Cost Plus World Market, and it's their brand of spring water. This is the World Market spring water. This is bottled from Wisconsin, and the company is based out of I think Oakland, California. I think, but it's the water's from. Wisconsin and cost plus world markets I think they have 278 locations there's none in Pittsburgh but I've been to one when I was on my trip to San Francisco and um, so this is my second time there and this new one I'm at has these new brands of uh, water so I'm trying them out today uh, this has a pH level of 7.8 Somehow I have all these numbers just memorized. It um, has zero sodium, zero carbs, zero fat, zero sugar, zero everything. So let's open them up and do a taste test. And I'm going to decide which one is going to move on to round two. And I'm going to try to get to round two before my trip is over. So I have very few bottles to take back with me. And um, this one even has a custom lid on it. Um, just with um, some kind of weird logo on it. No, no odor at all. A little bit of a soily taste to it. This is kind of weird. I wish I had a picture of this. Um, I've got a selfie stick sitting in a glass to record this video. I should have brought like a tripod with me or something, but I'm just improvising. And it's just a selfie stick sticking straight up to record this video. It's good. There's no bad aftertaste. There's no, you know, horrible taste to it. Here is the World Market water. This kind of has like a dirty, you know, they both have a slight dirty taste to them. This is only 49 cents for this bottle. That's, it's a pretty good price for a thick plastic spring water it's very rare that you can go into a store with two quarters and leave with anything but with tax maybe you wouldn't be able to I'm not sure but cost plus world market is kind of a weird store it's all it's all international stuff but it's weird that they have like a grocery section next to furniture it's kind of like the store big lots that we have in Pittsburgh um, they have like a furniture, they have couches for sale, and then lamps, and then, you know, groceries. It's kind of weird. All right. You know, going into this video, I 
predicted that this was going to win, so I bought several of these to go into round two. But um, I'm actually going to say that the winner is this one. This one has a cleaner taste to it somehow, even though this has a higher sodium count and a high TDS count. This one still has less of a dirty taste. You know, with spring water, I think you just, unless you put it through a filter, it's kind of unexpected exactly what it will taste like. Just because, you know, I'm guessing because if it rains sometimes, it would um, add more water and dirt and sediment to the spring and it would change the taste of it. With, you know, with purified reverse osmosis water, it's pretty much always going to taste the same, but with uh, spring water, it can change. And this one is tasting kind of dirty and soily and a little bit plasticky. So I'm going to say this one is the winner and it's moving on to round two. And I'm not going to finish it, so I have some left for round two. Look how big their receipt is. This is for just a couple bottles of water. It's actually like two pieces of paper. It's like uh, CVS pharmacy or something. And it's like double sided. Like there's stuff on the back too. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.